600 North Fairbanks. You may know the building from this curve on the corner, or more likely you know it from the cantilever at the back, where the building appears to have been squeezed into its site. It wasn't squeezed, that's a design flourish of Helmut Jahn, the architect who designed this condo building. He also designed several other important buildings in Chicago, the United Terminal at O'Hare, the Thompson Center, some very beautiful dorms at IIT on the near south side, and of course he's designed all over the world. He's renowned for his aesthetics and his material here in this glass lobby on the first floor of the condo, uh, you really see how he captured the vibrancy of Chicago. We've got the traffic on the street and on the sidewalk all flowing around us, but we're in this glass bowl where we can enjoy it but not be part of it. And in this lobby, he's got such great materials. There's all this exposed concrete that gives it such a silky warmth, such a refined industrial feeling. And here on the 40th floor, southwest corner, this is what you get. The city of Chicago lit up at your feet. These views are making me salivate. So I'm gonna turn my back to it in order to show you what's inside. You start here with 14 foot concrete ceilings. They're exposed and they still show some of the plywood form that was used to make the ceiling. You've got that nice 21st century industrial look that Helmut Jan is famous for. They're 14 feet high and so are the windows so that of course you can get a lot of view but then for the kitchen, there's a soffit that drops down a few feet to create a little bit of intimacy where you're gonna be cooking and gathering. And the kitchen is so sweet with the dark European cabinetry, oyster quartz countertops, and that great stainless steel brick pattern tile backsplash. The stainless steel there picks up the steel of the mullions in the windows. From the kitchen, you come out, it's great room style. You really just come out to this nice large living room where, of course, the main attraction is this view. You have two bedrooms here. This is the second one, the south-facing smaller bedroom. It's second, but it isn't secondary because what we've got in the view here is everything from the Tribune Tower to all the buildings along the river, Aeon, Aqua, NBC, and I'm told that in the daylight you can see the Shedd Aquarium and some days out to Indiana and Michigan through these enormous windows. One thing to keep in mind is at night it looks great and there's nobody looking in, but should you want to sleep or have privacy, there are electronic shades that roll down in both bedrooms as well as in the living room. This bedroom has a very large bath and that includes a laundry space. And then this is the master bedroom looking west, looking out over all of Michigan Avenue from say Trump and the Intercontinental all the way up Michigan Avenue, looking out west as well and up to the Hancock. So you've got quite a view here, and as well as those electronic shades, you have blackout drapes in this room. 14-foot ceiling, ceiling fan, very comfortable space, and then this wall separates the bedroom from the dressing room, which was customized with some really nice wood valet cabinetry, and then beyond that, the master bath, which is also very large, has a separate tub and shower, real nice marble floor. Now there are two full baths. We've seen one in each bedroom. There's also a powder room in the front hall. And something that's really charming about that is this great timber marble on the floor. Now while I've got your eyes off the view for just a minute, let's go see some of the other amenities in the building. On the top floor, you have a pool with a view. You're on the 41st floor looking out over the city, swimming in a stainless steel pool. There's also a deck that wraps two sides, the south and east sides, so that you look out to the lake. There's a health club, and on another level in the parking garage, there's a dog run, an enclosed dog run, protected from the wind and cold, but where they can do what they need to do. Now, all those are great things to have in your building, but truly, the main reason to be here is for this amazing view. It's cold tonight, so we're looking at it from inside, but you can imagine on a warm summer night, sitting out here on your 40th floor balcony facing south, and you're looking out over a cinematic sweep of the city. And by the way, when I say cinematic, I actually mean it. That balcony was used to shoot a piece of Transformers 3. They got a panoramic view from there of all of this remarkable architecture that surrounds us. I'm looking out at the whole city. I feel like I'm looking at Iowa out that way west, looking up at Willis way beyond us. And if you come down from the Willis Tower, you can see the building on Wacker Drive. It's not lighted, so it doesn't show up right now, where Helmut Jan, the architect of this building, has his office. And his studio is at about the height we are. He's probably looking from there back at this building with a real measure of pride. Hi, Helmut. 